been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third company. Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Are we not? We are not moles to live out our lives underground, you know. We at least hug him. Aren't you dressed yet? <laughs> <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your Citrem? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There is just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see? I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on! Mission accomplished! Good job, Private! Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow, the tree is so beautiful. Yes, listen. See, confiscations. Found it. General, sir. Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. 
What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First, we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we save first, and then the rest, you know the dregs? What's at Our children among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. I want another smoke. How about you? Don't mind if I do. Help yourself then. It's been a while since I had smokes like this. The dirty stations are crawling with troublemakers. You know the sort. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting a new life. And they're going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no green stuff left, and then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Naturally. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning the common folk. A chance they won't miss. Well, you understand it all. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full-blown uprising. Still, God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. Or we descend into chaos and all die. So if you do have to shoot, look at this as a war on living dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us into its grave. A cynical view. Cynical, but realistic. But Zobi doesn't go that far. Are your people ready to do their part? Well, those who weren't all dropped out years ago. What's your take on the others? I'm not sure about some of them. We'll start quietly disbanding and disarming their units. You are risking splashing fuel on the embers. What else can I do? Damned if I do and if I don't. True enough. <sighs> you know, I do feel drained. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. Have some rest while you still have haven't got long. And Slava. Take care. You too, Tolia. So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stock, we will be reimbursed fully and with interest, just as the paper says. He basically hinted that I had an official paper, signed and stamped, and that was the best I could have. What was your answer? What could it be? Yes, General, everything is as you say. Thank you for seeing me despite your busy schedule. You do understand that we have confiscated, so we are worried. Hello, sir. How's the situation, Sergeant? They're getting restless, sir. Our only option is to remain calm and not let ourselves be provoked. Yes, sir. Do we have to wait another week? Come on! Oh, how can
can they do this to us? You gave us nothing last week. Our citizens will be starting soon. Please, Colonel, tell them to start handing it out. We can't wait anymore. Do we have to wait another week? Come on! What the hell is with you? Citizens, please remain calm. Don't crowd us. We'll start handing the green stuff out soon. through. Step away. Oh my God. Colonel, sir, permission to address. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but they won't open the door. What the hell is with you? I see. Let's go. I just remembered the New Year. Didn't we have a drink right over here? here. You remember? Of course I do. Young Grisha definitely had too much that night. We had to carry him home. <laughs> Open up, Petrovich. Thanks. Follow me. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. I can't. You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock, and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. Oh, this is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know, but it we follow the rules. I found a cash set. He does have some. My cash Not so much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this can't be all he has stashed. We should search more. There's a quota to me. Enough. We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me some. I'm sorry, too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Don't mention it. calculated properly and you're short pay the rest look officer think about it where am i supposed to get so much you took all the green stuff from the people the trade is dead and you saddle me with a quota fit for a mogul put yourself in my shoes i have a quota as well and nobody cares how i'm gonna meet it quota schmota i can't just wish for more green stuff to appear out of thin air and you can tell your superiors that. Colonel! Sir! At ease. Lieutenant, I think we must make do with what we have. I understand, Colonel, sir. You are dismissed. Yes, sir! Thank you, sir. You saved me. You had me by the throat. I kept explaining, but nothing worked. I'm so glad you just happened to be passing by. Why do you all push? Am I dead? How? Why? Thank you, sir. You're late. Sorry. Good. Thank you for your cooperation. <coughs> Colonel, sir. At ease, Sergeant. What is the situation here? Uh, we've been receiving refugees for a few days now, and now they're arriving before we can find a place for the previous batch. I see. Need me to push any levers? Thank you, sir. But the Quartermaster says they'll manage. It's just gonna take some time. Good. But tell him to find me if any problems arise. Carry on. I will, sir. Thank you.
Oscom, open up. Ah, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want... You don't want what? To be a private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I want to see Biraskaya. And I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course, those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah, if I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still, those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them. They must apologize. Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. Done. Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me that. If we, Oscom, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So, let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them must be kept secret, for their own good. Do you understand that? I do. But still, 
This is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yet, I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son. Said nothing, they would have never believed they would Water under more. the bridge. Neither I nor you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you two. See you on the train. Thank you. Hello, Colonel. Sir. Don't stand around! Man the defenses! Yes, sir! Lieutenant, I'll take the detonator. Give me cover. Yes, sir. Attention! Covering fire for the Colonel. No saving ammo. Roger that! He... 
HQ, Klebnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. Colonel, first! They blew the airlock and are coming down from the surface! Oh no! Holy bitch! 